Good afternoon, world. It is 1 o'clock, 12.57 p.m. It's 1 o'clock p.m. pretty much. Right now, it's a holiday in Canada. They have Thanksgiving, obviously. Whereas in America, I believe Thanksgiving is in November. In Canada, it's in October. It's earlier than the States, obviously. Yeah. Excuse the noise, I'm eating food. Yeah. So I'll talk about Zanes again, as usual. Now, I'll either get beer and smokes after the video or I'll wait till nighttime to, to watch. The past three days, I've been getting beer and smokes like twice. I've been draining my money. I'm down to like $250. So I want to have enough money at the end of the month, obviously. I'm no longer getting to get beer and smokes twice. Draining my money, obviously. So yeah, to all you guys in Canada, happy Thanksgiving. I hope you guys enjoy uh, your Thanksgiving. I know it's how long, I know it's how some people in my house had guests over. Yes, yeah, I had guests come over too. Well, not really guests, family, right? But Thanksgiving, people usually have guests or family come over, come over to eat dinner and nice turkey or nice stuffing, all that stuff. Hope you guys have a good Thanksgiving. All you folks in Canada and all you Americans, I'll say happy Thanksgiving in advance. You guys will have your Thanksgiving next month, I believe. So, happy Thanksgiving to all you guys in America in advance, obviously. Hope you guys, you guys, hope you enjoy a nice, uh, and, 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 and a nice Thanksgiving with your family and your friends, obviously. I hope VJ enjoys talking to you. I hope you enjoy your Thanksgiving. Supposedly, enjoy your Thanksgiving with your family, too, and then. <laughs> Yes, let me talk about Zanus. Sorry, I've I've been I've been I've been quiet for. I haven't really been talking about much stuff the past three minutes because I was eating my food. Obviously, a good like twenty minutes. I'm gonna get my glasses and get my coffee. Have nice coffee. You're gonna have to excuse the noise. If you hear the noise of. Obviously. So Zanus will be an amazing movie based off my amazing famous novel worth billions. <laughs> my amazing famous novel <clears throat> worth billions, obviously. My amazing famous novel worth billions. That's how amazing of a novel I'm gonna write. I'm gonna write.
that's how good of a novel this ends is. Once you pay your twenty two dollars and you buy your you buy you pay your twenty two dollars dollars and you buy your uh you pay your your twenty two dollars dollars you you buy your what you buy the book. You know what I'm saying? You read the prologue, you read <coughs> um Young Tacius, and you get to 22 years later, the story starts to pick up all of a sudden, and you're like, holy shit, this book is sick. This is an amazing book, and you order your takeout, and you read your, you read your book, and then you binge the whole thing. Look at a masterpiece, yeah. You're looking at an amazing, an amazing uh, book. You're looking at an amazing book, man. A masterpiece, yeah. Masterpiece. Looking at a masterpiece. Well, most people buy the ebook or the print. Most people will buy the ebook, obviously, because it's cheaper. Obviously, a lot of people don't like spending a hundred dollars for 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 a book. For a movie, you guys won't mind paying one sixty for the movie because it's three. It's like a thirteen-hour movie. So, so, so you guys are gonna be watching that like every week, and it's worth the one sixty dollars. But for the book, not many people want to pay a hundred bucks for that. The only people who won't mind paying a hundred dollars are the rich, people around the world who are rich, obviously. The upper class one percent, those guys won't mind paying a hundred bucks for the book because they can easily afford it. Even if you make fifty k a year, you can easily afford a hundred dollars. As I told you, most people who make fifty k a year, sixty k a year, have a couple hundred bucks to spare. They have like three, four hundred dollars to spare for themselves. Don't forget, they also have visas. And if, 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 if they don't have enough, if, if, if they don't want to use their own money, they can just use their visa. And they can easily pay off the $100 for their visa. You see what I'm saying here? $100 is not that expensive, but most people around the world are going to buy the ebook for $200. It's cheap, obviously. That's, it's affordable. Very affordable. It's cheap. Yeah, $20 Ivan, is a good deal. That's not that expensive. That's not expensive at all. What's pretty expensive for an ebook, as most ebooks sell for like $7, $10. Twelve dollars around there, but I'm selling mine for twenty-two dollars. So I make a nice profit. I'm not gonna be stupid and overprice like my you for seventy dollars and rip you guys off. No, I'll price it for like twenty-two dollars for the three for, for for the three for the three volumes. For the three volumes. Who's there? The three volumes. Three volumes. The three volumes. So I'm saying the three volumes. Twenty two dollars for the three volumes. Center. You guys are gonna enjoy that book. I'm gonna take you for a ride. You're like an amazing story. I wrote a masterpiece. Fucking masterpiece, Gavin. Masterpiece. That's why my movie will have crazy buzz. It'll have crazy buzz, man. My movie. Based off my my novel have crazy buzz. Crazy worldwide buzz, man. Something crazy. We'll have crazy worldwide buzz. My movie. Yeah, man, there's something crazy, man. Crazy worldwide buzz. Yeah, man. <coughs> crazy worldwide buzz. <laughs> That's why Peter wants to use my book. He's not want to get his hands on my story so bad. Oh man, I want to get my hands on this story. Yeah, this is a masterpiece. Amazing story. Peter will want to get his hands on my story so bad. <coughs> it's gonna be crazy. Really, I haven't yes, man. Peter will want to get his hands on my story badly. 
This is a masterpiece, man. A fucking masterpiece. Yeah. Mel Gibson won't get out of my sword, too. Yeah. Mel Gibson won't get out of my sword, too, once he reads my book, obviously. Mel Gibson. Bill Gibson will want to get his hands on my story too, obviously. It must be crazy. Yeah. <clears throat> I talked about my book. I said, if you think Game of Thrones and Lord of the Rings and Malzin and Will of Time and all those books, Harry Potter, Name of the Wind, Stormlight series, Brian Sonics and Stormlight series are good. Those books are not as good as my book. Because Lord of the Rings is considered better than all those books. You know, I read Lord of the Rings. I compared it to my book. Yeah, my book is more interesting. But Lord of the Rings are the war willing and, 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 and what? And, and, and speech stands out more than what? Than, um, than Lord of the, uh, than, 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 than Zanus. Lord of the Rings has better speech and better warbling. But my my book has a better story. The story is richer. That's why my book is better than Lord of the Rings, in my opinion. In my humble opinion. But guaranteed, most people around the world will like Zane is better than Lord of the Rings. Because Lord of the Rings, even though it's a masterpiece, it's a bit boring in some sections. <laughs> Same thing. It's like, even though Two Towers, is, I, I consider it to be the best of the three movies, Two Towers is clearly the most boring of the three. Actually, no, it's not the most boring. I, I, find, I find it better than the other two, but Two Towers has, has the worst pacing of the three movies. It's very it's a lot of talking in the, in, the, in, the one, in the movie. It's very slow. You only have like two action sequences, and that's it. Three action sequences in the movie. You have the beginning <coughs> when um, Thad and them ambush the orcs. <coughs> so not Thad, um, Amor and his men ambush the orcs who, are cap who capture Pippin and Mary. And you have the scene with the with the wolves, and you have the warning, and that's it. And you have the, the tree war, four war, four battle sequences. As the least action of the of the, of the three movies, uh, uh, two towers. Or you no wait, it has more action than Fellowship of the Ring actually. Fellowship of the Ring, you only have Mines of Moria, and you, in the end, and you have Strider, and yeah, I know Fellowship of the Ring has the least action actually of the three. But Lord of the Rings, two hours when you watch it, it has the slowest pacing of the three movies, honestly. <clears throat> Whereas Fellowship of the Ring has has the highest pacing of the three movies. Highest pacing. I Return, Return of the King has the highest pacing. I think Fellowship of the Ring has higher pacing than Return of the King, to be honest. Um, <clears throat> no, Return of the King probably has the highest pacing because you have a lot of action in the movie, obviously. But like, but 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 it's 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 it's. Return of the King had so much action. Peter Jackson had no choice but to rush some of the wars, because he couldn't cram all long wars and all those in, all, in one movie. Obviously, but the Rohan War was rushed. The war in the end was rushed. When they created a diversion for Frodo, that, that was rushed too. The only war that wasn't really rushed was the Gondor War with Gandalf and Pippin and all them. You know what I'm saying? That war wasn't that rushed. Was the other ones? Rushed. They were rushed. Obviously. They were rushed. Obviously. Whereas my Ivan will Zanes have a lot of action. Zanes will have a lot of action, but it'll be well, there's a lot of talking in Zanes too, obviously. <clears throat> but for Zanes, I, I because I know how to keep the story pacing. <clears throat> volume one, you have a war in the beginning. Then you have, then you have what? Then you have an action, a war in the beginning of Volume Two. Obviously. And then, even though like, <clears throat> Zanus, the Lord of the Rings have more action than Zanus. Lord of the Rings has more action than Zanus for the three movies. But like my movie, do, 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 my movie, even though it has it has a lot of it has doesn't have as much action as Lord of the Rings. It has a lot of drama. Hence why what? Has a lot of drama. Hence why my, my, my movie will be an amazing movie, obviously. 
So if you don't have action, throw in a lot of drama and conflict in your movie. That way it's more that's way that way it's interesting. Interesting story. You have drama and politics in volume two, you have a lot of drama in volume one, you have in volume three, you have action, you have a lot of drama. That's when the, the, the plot the plot thickens, obviously, in volume three. Look at an amazing story. And that's why Peter Jackson wanted want to get his hands on my, on my story, obviously, so badly. Why I want to get my hands on this so bad. <laughs> You're going to see Peter Jackson and uh, Mel Gibson salivating over my fucking movie, man. They're salivating over my movie. They're salivating over my movie. I wrote an amazing story. They're salivating over my movie, Adam. They can have masterpiece. Really, Ivan? Yeah. They're salivating over my movie. Peter Jackson, all of them. Yeah, man. They're salivating over my movie. That's why they're wanting. They're gonna want to get their hands on my story so bad. It's like an amazing story, obviously. Ivan, what 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 movie? I don't know. Like Two Towers is probably the most similar to my movie. Is you have the um, you have the orcs marching to Helm's Deep. You have something like that in Zanus too. Eretet and his like twenty five thousand army. They march to Sapius and they, I don't want to spoil so for you. They march to Sapius and they march to the Zanus. It's all out war. Remember how you what you got for for, for two towers? Yeah, they're marching. It's an army twice that size, a twenty twenty five thousand army. In the movie to save money, I might have a twenty thousand army instead of twenty five thousand army to save money. Save. I can tell Peter. Peter, you can have twenty thousand army instead of twenty five thousand army to save money. Save money. Oh, okay, I was just saying. Yeah, we can do that. To save money, obviously. All right, not smart. Yeah, it's not, it's not a big deal. I mean, we we, we twenty thousand is still good enough. Yeah, we 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 we, we can make. We can we, we we can have a twenty thousand wolf army. To save money, because five thousand people is an extra like couple hundred grand or each day, right? So you need to be careful with your. We, 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 I can easily afford twenty five, but but <clears throat> it's gonna cost more money for the armor and the weapons. I'll tell Peter, Peter, for the wolf army, let's have a twenty thousand army. It's enough for the movie. If we can afford twenty five thousand, we can put twenty five thousand. Peter's like, Ivan, twenty thousand is enough. This is more than enough, man. Like <clears throat> for Lord of the Rings, you only had a couple hundred extras, and we applied CGI effects towards the army. Remember that huge army you saw? Yeah, imagine an army double that size. A 20,000, 25,000 army. They're marching towards Sazanus. You're going to fill for me and Tacius and the men, men. They're all demons. So imagine air attacking them all demons and devils. Three times scarier than the Orc High, what you got for two towers, man. They're demons, man. <coughs> it looks something scary. It looks something really scary. You look at something scary, haven't you? Give me a sec, guys. I'm going to get my coffee. Don't hate me. I'm saying. <clears throat> Back in a sec.
where do you start with that? <clears throat> you hear the noise. Someone is cutting the grass. So you gotta excuse the noise. Yeah, after this video, I'll just take my shower, go to the store, get my beer and smokes, and I'll, I will not get beer and smokes tonight. Because I'm running low on cash, obviously. I'm down to $250. <laughs> yeah, man. I also got my $70 check, which I saved, so I have more than enough till the end of the month, obviously. My smokes. So, yeah. Yeah, man, you're looking at an amazing movie from my Zanus story, man. You're looking at a masterpiece. You're looking at an amazing movie. You're looking at a masterpiece. At a masterpiece. You're looking at an amazing movie. You're looking at a masterpiece, yeah, man. Masterpiece. That's why those Zane Sackers are lucky. Because they're going to get to experience success and fame with me and BJ Wood. You guys are all left behind. My staff time is left behind. They deserve it. They're left behind. <laughs> Here's the thing, though, man. Had the doors been open on me, Zane, Zanus never would have happened. I never would have made Zanus. So I'm saying, this, this story never would have been told. So I'm saying, yeah. That's. Before I came, but this was ordained to happen. There's a reason why I came here with these stupid keys, obviously. These keys piss me off. I trip, obviously. The reason why God gave me the keys is I knew this would happen. I knew, yeah, the world, the world that I created is a mess. If they see my future, they're gonna, they're gonna be envious and they're gonna, they're gonna do whatever they can to destroy my relationship. Because you guys are wicked people, obviously. You're not good people, obviously. Yeah, you just couldn't do the right thing. But I not. Had, had the doors been open on me and the VJ was fresh, obviously, I never would have wrote, wrote Zanus. So I'm saying, I never would have wrote Zanus. Maybe if I wrote my own book, I would have came up with Zanus, obviously, but I never would, Zanus wouldn't exist if, if the doors were open on me. The only reason why I wrote my own book is because the doors are locked on me, obviously. That's why I had no choice to write my own book. Okay, how can I own my own intellectual property? I have to write my own book, make my own movie, make my own music, um, album. I decided to write my own book and I wrote my book and now I own the rights to, to Zanus, obviously. Zanus is my intellectual property. I own the rights. I have the keys. I'll, I'll, I can make my billions, obviously. I own the rights to Zanus. Whereas the gatekeepers own everything in the world, obviously. They own all the finance, all the finances in the world. Hence why I can't make any money because they own everything. If you want if you want to make money through my system, you got to sell to me. When in reality, they were supposed to open the door for me to make money through their system, but they didn't, obviously, because they're, <coughs> they're crazy people, obviously. That's why God had no choice but to give me y'all. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. Even though these keys are like a kind of a curse and everyone can read your mind, people hate on you for what you think, obviously, and you trip. I have to give you these keys. You need to open your own door. That way you can that way you can be free with your wife. If you don't have the keys, you you and your wife will not be free. You'll be dirty slaves in Hollywood. You'll be sharing with the world. You'll get a garbage wife. And the world the world will destroy your relationship completely because the world's wicked, obviously. Yeah. You guys are so blind, you 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 want to destroy my relationship. That's why you want me to share. That's why you're willing to trap me with the, that hard choice of sharing or, or yeah, like, guys, it's not a hard choice. I'd rather die than fucking share with a fucking garbage wife here for the world, man. You're fucking crazy, man. I'm not sharing. That's hell on earth, man. <laughs> I share while you get your husband and girlfriend, husband and wife, and say, nah, man, I'm not going to do my that, man. And you trap me with that. Okay, fine. You want you want me to die, an innocent man to die because of his wife. That's when he's king and he's living a life, you're, you're not safe, you're left behind, you're not a part of his glory. And you guys are going to cry tears. As being left behind is a horrific price to pay, man. All the people who knew in my life are going to cry tears. My step family are going to cry tears when they see me king, man. They're going to cry, man. They're going to cry tears. Yeah, man. They're going to cry happy, happy tears, man. Yeah, man. They're going to cry heavy, heavy tears. My, my step family. All my so-called friends in my life are gonna cry too. The people who knew me are gonna cry. Oh my god, we're fucking evil, man! Like we, we knew Ivan was the son of God. We knew he had a wife. We was locked. We never even told him anything, man. We're fucking evil. Yeah, they're gonna think about what I went through in my life, and some of the people who knew my life are gonna cry, obviously. 
Look at Ivan now. Ivan's a billionaire, king, famous movie star. Yeah. Chris Anus. Eric and the So look at Ivan now. He's a billionaire now. And we're all like making 40, 50, 60K a year. And he's a billionaire. Yeah. That's why everyone in my juice my shit. That's why everyone hates on me with the keys, obviously. I know it's all some nice people that hate on me for what I think, obviously. I'm like, yeah, I know why you hate on me. It's because you know I can make my easy bill and you can't, obviously. That's why, yeah. Let's find a way to make Ivan uncomfortable when he goes out in public. Let's hate on him. As I guarantee people hate on VJ too. Yeah, I mean, people hate on me too, you know what I'm saying? But, I, but VJ's used to the keys. He doesn't care. Yeah, I don't care if people hate on me, Ivan. I just ignore them. It's just noise, yeah. Whereas for me, I'm not used to it. That's why I go out in public and people hate on me. It, it takes getting used to, obviously. I go out downtown, everyone downtown can read my mind. It's just getting bare out. This is embarrassing. And I'm like, God, how the fuck did you give me these keys? I'm like, Ivan, I'm sorry, man. I had no choice. I have to give you the keys, man. If I don't give you the keys, you won't be able to open your own door. You're going to have to sell to the gatekeepers. You're going to lock all the doors on me. Yeah, they lock all the doors on me. Everything's locked. Because I have God protecting my journey, I, I, I'm like, okay, how can I make money? And I'm like, oh, my book Zanus. If I write this, I own the rights to this, and I wrote, I wrote my book, I finished my book a long time, and now I'm editing it, and yeah. Once I'm done editing it, it's copyright, it's right to release from reviews on Lulu, and I'll pay the fee, I'll cry my anguish tears, obviously, or run off, I don't know, we'll see what happens. You know what I'm saying? And then what? And then, and then what? And then what? And then yeah. No, but no, I'm just joking. I won't run off, but man, I'm I'm, I'm scared to die. It's not, dying is not an easy thing. That's why VJ really pisses me off because she cries to me every night. And I'm like, so you think dying, VJ, is an easy thing to do, man? And because VJ is evil, she, 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 Ivan, if you don't die for me, I'm going to destroy your life. I'm going to destroy your sleep. She's fucking evil, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, Ivan, mean, please, I want to see the light. Yeah, you're desperate, obviously. You're desperate. You, I want your billions. I want to see the light. I want to be with you. You know what I'm saying? She's crazy, and then you keep fucking running behind her back, and she's fucking crazy, man. Yeah, man. Selfish, she wants her full cake, obviously. Yeah, I want to be with Ivan, but at the same time, I, 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 I like being with these men, too, behind his back. She's fucking evil, man. So you're selfish, you want your full cake, yeah. You can't do the right thing and just leave the guy's number, but you can't do it, obviously. Oh, I can't do it, Ivan. The guy's too hot. So yeah, I'm going to keep saying this, VJ. You're telling these men in Hollywood that you're too weak to fight them off. That's what you're telling them. You're telling them that you're too, you're not strong enough to fight off these men in Hollywood. That's what you're telling them. And you're God too. It's sad. Yeah. So those men in Hollywood, they, they what? Those men in Hollywood, they beat you, man. You can't beat them. You, you're you telling those men in Hollywood that you can't beat, you can't, you can't stay away from them. Yeah, I, mean, I can't do it. No, yeah, you can do it. You're God. You're just stupid, man. You, you give in temptation, you keep seeing the men. Because you're fucking stupid, obviously. Yeah. So VJ, if you if you want to if you want to let those men know that you can't that you can't that you can't fight them off, obviously, go ahead, keep seeing them. Obviously, you're telling those men that you you're not strong to fight them off. And you know, when I pay this fee, I pass this test with flying colors. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I don't understand your fucking logic. You're fucking crazy, man. Like why are you crying me every night when you keep going behind my back and fucking men? I don't understand your logic. Stop crying to me if you're gonna keep fucking being unfaithful and fucking behind my back, man. Stop crying to me, but you keep doing it because you're crazy. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, let me talk more about Zanus. Yeah, my book Zanus will have crazy, crazy robots. If you hear the noise, you gotta excuse the noise. There's someone cutting grass in my in, 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 one of my neighbors are cutting cutting grass, and I leave my window open in my room now, so it's very humid in my room. So I leave my window open in my room. Yeah, the, the, the stopped. The, the guy stopped cutting the grass. You won't hear the noise anymore. Yeah, Zanes will have crazy worldwide buzz. Crazy worldwide buzz. Crazy worldwide buzz, man. Something crazy. Crazy worldwide buzz. Something crazy. Will you Ivan? Yes. Crazy worldwide buzz like you've never experienced before. If you thought Avengers had crazy buzz, you know what I'm saying? Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings had crazy buzz too, man, back in the day, man. Remember when Lord of the Rings came out, you got that buzz? Yeah. I remember when I was in grade five, everyone was like, oh, did you see Two Towers? Two Towers was sick. You know, I said, Two Towers was an amazing movie. Yeah. 
When I watched Two Towers at first, I didn't like it. The first time I watched Two Towers, I didn't like it as much as Fallout the Ring, to be honest. And over the years, as I watched it more, I grew to like it more than Fallout the Ring, honestly. <laughs> My first experience, Fallout the Ring gave me a better experience the first time I watched it than Two Towers. Two Towers, I found a little bit boring when I watched it the first time. <laughs> Fallout the Ring was fucking amazing when I watched it. And Return of the King, I thought was good too when I watched it. But like, it was not the same experience as Fellowship of the Ring. But as I watched the movies over the years, I grew to like Two Towers more than Fellowship of the Ring, honestly. But yeah, this Helm's Eve battle is just too sick. And then, yeah. Yeah, remember that 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 buzz you got for Two Towers, Fellowship of the Ring, and Return of the King? Back in the early 2000s. And you know, the buzz for the Hobbit. I remember the buzz for the Hobbit too. The Hobbit had crazy buzz too. Back in 2011, 2012, 2013, 2013, 2012, 2014, around there. I remember the crazy buzz for The Hobbit, yeah. The Hobbit had crazy crazy buzz, too. The movies did a billion dollars each, man. They all did about a billion dollars in three movies. They were massive hits. They were massive hits, obviously, yeah. Well, nothing compared to the buzz of... I saw the behind-the-scenes of the, of the Hobbit red carpet on YouTube, obviously, and you saw the, like, 100, like, 100, like 20,000 fans, man. You see all the Hobbit actors flown in. You see Peter Jackson getting out of the limo with his daughter. Yeah. Yeah, think of fans crazier than that. I haven't how much fans. I don't know. For my red carpet, you're looking at the whole city cheering me on. Like a parade, man. No parades? Yeah, think of some think of think of like a parade, man. Something crazy. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Five hundred, a thousand, eight hundred thousand, a million fans. Yeah, in Switzerland for the red carpet, something crazy. The whole city cheering me on, and the whole hotel will be booked with thousands of people, thousands of fans. Look at something crazy. Looking at the whole city cheering me on for my movie. It will make the Hobbit red carpet look like nothing. This has been crazy, man. It will make it look like nothing. Yeah, you're looking at something, you're looking at crazy. Crazy buzz, man, for, for Zayn. Something crazy, yeah, man. That's why Peter One gets hands hands on my story so fast. This has been crazy. I'm a character. 